quick analysis in SPSS. Yes. I show you how to use SPSS for calculating COVID unit and there uh, and uh, LC50, LC60, LC80, 70, uh, 90 uh, with their corresponding 95% CI. Okay, it's so easy. Um, just share the data. SPSS. Probit analysis in SPSS you need three requirements. You must analyze these three requirements. Uh, one, concentration of your sample. Uh, two, total object animals and uh, response frequency. We have the response frequency, not uh, person response. Okay. So, uh, how to calculate probit unit and LC50 with 95% CI? Just analyze and regression. Remember this. Probit analysis is a type of regression analysis. Uh, so here the probit, uh, sorry, here the probit, and uh, concentration is a covariate. Total object here the total object. The response frequency here. You can uh, change the option uh, here the significance level. Significance level high person. So you write there point. 0, 05 continue transform your data yeah, just block transformation of your data and then okay here the default setting probit you can also do um log it yeah the probit here now just wait for result this is the result the table um, uh, this table parameter estimate it is the regression analysis table here the probit probit p the value of y axis intercept here the intercept B slot of the graph and X concentration, the value of X axis. This is the regression equation. You can also use this equation for calculating LC50. Chi square test, the, this test helps you to understand the significance level of your study. Yeah. And uh, this table, most important, cell counts and residuals. Residuals, that means periods of your study. The concentration, log concentration of your sample, and uh, this is object response. This is the expected response. Expected response calculated uh, by this software. And residual, residual actually um, a difference between expected and uh, difference between observed and expected responses. This is the residual error of your study. Probability, this is the probit unit uh, with the corresponding concentration. Okay, now show you LC50 with 95% uh, CI, the 95% CI for concentration, real concentration, the log concentration, and 0.5 equivalent to 5% mortality. 0.5 probit unit is equivalent to 5% 50% mortality. So this is the LC50 equivalent result. LC50 this value and their corresponding. 95% CI. This is the minimum value and this is the maximum value. Easily calculate LC50 with 95% CI using SPSS. And you can also calculate LC70, 80, LC90, 95 with 95% CI. Thanks for watching this.